tiny my head is. <laughs> Queer Squaries, where these queers answer life's queries, ours, and hopefully yours. Today on the show we have my wife, Sarah. Yay! So thanks for joining us, Sarah. Uh -huh. So our topic today is queer pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So this is why this one's here, because this queer has been pregnant before. So we had a query from a viewer. Query? Yeah. I have tater tots in the oven, so we need to keep <laughs> this moving. I had a question about um, when a queer couple decides to have a kid, um, who dis uh, how do you decide who's going to have the kid, or how do you decide if you're going to have a kid, <laughs> if you're going to adopt, all that type of thing. And so, How do you decide that? How do well, you decide that? In our case, I was significantly older than my spouse, oh, so we were going to have two. Yeah, I was going to have the first one. Where should I look here? I was going to have the first one. We tried for a second. Didn't work out. Wasn't in the cards for us. And Amory, you tried to You me. tried the second time. I tried the second time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we tried for a year. Had a surgery. Had a surgery. It was like a whole thing. So, Amory, you identify as... I feel like Amory's identity changed after... After like they decided the middle of the have. process. I was just wondering, was there any disconnect between, like, being genderqueer and also wanting to get pregnant? There was for me. For you? It was the weirdest thing ever because I don't think of myself as feminine. And being pregnant is basically the most feminine thing you can do. That's how I feel, too. Um, exactly See, that's the one hang-up I didn't have. Yeah? But that, that was, was the only thing. Really I feel like started. I'd be totally cool, like... Even still? If I didn't have such horrible genes, pregnant. I would be okay with being pregnant. Like, there are no clothes oh, that pregnant people can wear I, that are not that are on the horribly scale. feminine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My mom bought me one maternity shirt. <laughs> And she gave it to me, and I was like, oh. <laughs> And I held it up, and she was like, Okay, I can take it back. It was fake. It took it back. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it got real awkward real fast. Um, yeah. What else do you need to know about my pregnancy? You'll no, cut me out of all of this. No, None of this will be interesting to you guys. We'll, we'll get on, like, a drunken tangent. It's true. So I can eat dinner now? You can eat dinner now. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for joining us. And that's my wife. Mm-hmm. That is my BFF by proxy. So, when Jess and I got together, I was adamant that I did not want to have kids. Like, mm -hmm. no kids for me. I am far I too... I never thought. Kids. Up until I was, like, 22. I knew that I was selfish enough and wanted to do the things that I wanted to do enough that I was just going to do that. And so, kids were out of the question for me. Um, got together with Jess, and that was perfectly fine with her. As I hit 31, suddenly I was like, kids are cool. And so I kind of started to like allude to the idea that I was becoming open minded about having kids. And Jess finally one day was like, listen, you kind of keep talking about this. Do you want to have kids? And I was like, she's like, okay, let's have a baby. <laughs> I don't want to physically have a baby though. <laughs> I mean, technically, mm -hmm. if you break it down, a, a baby's a parasite. That. There's some, I like, that for me. moon Gaia thing that, like, I, I still have I, this weird connection with, though, and I love to have a baby. Even though I consider myself, like, even though I identify as genderqueer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And see, that's exactly, like, what, what Sarah was saying. Like, I would wear I, my same clothes, and I would so, like, bandanas. <laughs> but I'm gonna put a tie over mm -hmm. No one's gonna notice. Because <laughs> I skate the androgyny line like mm -hmm. I am fully like accepting of my like womanhood. womanhood and my feminine power and all that kind of wow. stuff but like that's just a little too feminine. I mean that's like the ultimate and I just feel like it looks so so oh awkward. it'd be painfully awkward for you. so <laughs> awkward if you were like super rich and uh -huh. could tailor oh absolutely suits, okay then then I could rock 100% you would 
I would be totally fine with being pregnant. Like you were. I no no no. I mean, I can't say that I'd one hundred percent be fine with it because you would be like eighty percent fine. I would be like. 75% Seventy five percent okay with it. Seventy seventy five percent okay with it, mm-hmm. as long as I could still look good. Uh, so you know, so that's how kind of we decided. I mean, like, if you guys are the same age, I mean, there's way more of a discussion, like figuring oh, out. Oh right, right. Because who's gonna have right? A Sarah kid was older. Like, Jess is older, so it just makes more sense for them to have to like if. Like, just wants to be the one to be pregnant. It makes way more sense for her to at least try first. But yeah, I think, like you're saying, if we were the same age and we both wanted to carry, then it would be a much bigger discussion. I am super excited about the idea of taking care of a pregnant woman. You say that. I say that because I've never had to do it. You know, so the I time thought, might come I and I'd be like, like, this is terrible. I like me so pregnant ladies. Uh-huh. Like, I was all about yeah. it. And she was like, and I was all about it for the first, like, eight months. Mm-hmm. Until she hated me so much. <laughs> and she was like, I need you to stop looking at me. <laughs> so anyways, um. What are you doing? I think it's, you know, obviously it depends on the on the person. Because I've known oh, some, pr- some pretty butch uh, queers. That love being pregnant, that uh, that that just you know em- embrace that, and I don't, you know, I think I think it just depends on on the person, and you know I think there are also plenty of uh, non queer women out there that are super girly that absolutely don't want to be pregnant, mm-hmm. um, but I think as far as deciding who is going to carry or whatever, you know, um, for us, it was fairly cut and dry, Mm -hmm. uh, because our spouses are older. Um, so give them the opportunity. Now, if for some reason, like just can't have a baby, it would be something that I would consider because adoption is hellaciously expensive. Yeah. Just, just personal preference. Do you have any other queries? Feel free to ask them. So like this video, Subscribe and ring the bell for future notifications of other videos. As always, stay queer or queer adjacent. Adjacent. Mm -hmm. Cool.